I have all sorts of people on my fucking YouTube comments talking about how they want to fight me, they're gonna kick my ass, blah blah blah, trying to make me fucking stare, trying to look like they're fucking tough. I, I, I went through this once already. I got up in the morning, I wrote a bunch of shit on the internet, blah blah blah, fuck you, I'll kick your ass. I went to sleep, I woke up in the morning, and it's, it's morning. You know, I just woke up. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> but I wrote a check. I wrote a check and I fucking handed it out to the people. If I don't fucking come through, no one's gonna respect me. I gotta fuck. I can't be fucking talking shit and then fucking hiding afterwards. I can't be shooting my fucking mouth off. But what a tough guy I am, and then I'm like a coward. I mean, I just woke up. <laughs> I need a coffee. <laughs> but I got up off my ass and drank myself a coffee. I put on some clothes that I felt comfortable fighting in. Walked over to the beer store. Had a couple beers to loosen me up a little bit, get me in the right fucking headspace. Not sloppy, just unlock my aggression. Help me to forget that I'm sitting in Trinity Bellwoods Park and there are hundreds of witnesses. Because that's the fucking scariest part of all, right? <laughs> and I went over there and I said, I'm heading, heading over to the park right now if you want to fucking kick my ass, if you want a fucking little martial arts instruction. That was the word I used. I can't be fucking making fucking threats. I can't be calling people out and then they show up and I beat the shit out of them and it's like, you fucking said you were going to kick his ass and then you did, you're under arrest, blah, blah, blah. So I just invited them for a little bit of martial arts instruction. Anybody with a brain can read between the lines of that one. And I went over there and I sat down in the park with my fucking beer and my harmonica and I chilled out and I fucking played some harmonica I played my uh, reinterpretation of Little Walter's Juke. I played Lock On by Guitar Crispin. I played uh, Out of the Musino Shoujo by Guitar Crispin. And then I just kind of got tired, bored. I finished my beers. I played some music. I checked out some fucking pretty girls. I can feel. I can feel that I have an audience, and that I have an audience inside that audience, if you know what I mean. I can feel it. You know how you just like, you can be walking through the woods, and then somebody is looking at you, and you feel that they're looking at you, even though you don't see them. You've experienced that, right? Everybody's felt like someone is looking at them, even though they didn't notice it consciously. I could feel my audience and then I could feel the audience inside my audience. The people that wanted to show up and say that I never showed up. Or the people that wanted to show up and kick my ass, but then they chickened up when the time was there. So, I mean, I got all these fucking dickheads. Oh, I'm gonna kick your ass, I'm gonna kick your ass. I am not going to go and sit at the fucking park and have you not show up and sit at the park and have you not show up and sit at the park and have you not show up and sit at the park and have you not show up and let you fucking dance me around like a fucking marionette. I'm not going to do that. Who the fuck are you? You don't even use your real name. You don't use your real name. I use my fucking real name. You don't. You're just some fucking bitch. So here's that. This is my message to all the fucking dickheads. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna fucking jump out there and wait for you to show up and fucking get bored waiting for you and leave over and over and over again. And it is not because I'm fucking scared of you. It's because I'm not.
fucking scared of you. It's because I know you won't show up. And if you do show up, you'll peek around the corner of a tree like that little fucking Vietnamese stalker bitch that followed me out of the park and down the street and fucking hid behind a brick wall and looked at me while I waited for the bus to come. And I wondered, am I legally obligated to run from her as she chases me? Because to stand here knowing that she's right over there is a violation of the terms of my bail. I'm waiting for my court date. I'm waiting for my day in front of the judge. I'm waiting for the opportunity to defend myself in front of a judge and possibly a jury of my peers. And I'm not allowed to be within 500 meters of this bitch. And she's right there. And I know that she's peeking around the corner at me. And I don't want to run down the street. How fucking embarrassing. Am I obligated to run or can I just stand here and wait for the bus and play dumb? And get the fuck out of here. That's what you guys are like. With your fucking threats and your bullshit. You're full of shit. You're terrified of me. You're terrified of me. And I respected you enough to walk over there and sit on a park bench and make a spectacle of myself. I put on my hat. I played my harmonica.